Okay, so you have decided that you are going to put a space in your home on Airbnb. You should not go into something like Airbnb or Verbo or whichever one you choose to be on thinking that it's just going to be an immediate money maker and it's going to just not cost you anything and it's all going to just end up with uh, dollar bills in your bank account because it's not. The first thing you're going to have to do of course is you pick your spot. Now I had two bedrooms available in my home, two extra bedrooms. One was basically like a storage closet for holiday decorations and then the other room was basically just kind of sitting pretty much empty. Um, I had someone in that room for about a year it was my brother my younger brother so i just basically closed the room off and then closed the bathroom door and that room sat empty for years and years okay so the first thing i had to do was clean the rooms out for one thing so i painted the dresser that he left in the bigger guest room and there was nothing else in that room and in the other room i had a sleeper sofa and I had to buy a new mattress to go on it. I'm gonna put links to everything that uh, I had to buy down in the description box. So the mattresses that I bought, cause I had to buy a sofa bed mattress for the sofa bed. I had to buy a queen size mattress for the uh, queen bed that went into the bigger guest room. I had to buy a for the bigger bedroom, I had to buy a a bed frame, but it was it's like an elevated bed frame. It's about 14 inches, I believe, off the ground. So not only do you not need a box spring when you get uh, this uh, bed frame, it's an Amazon Basics bed frame. Not only do you not need a box spring when you buy it, it's high enough up off the ground that you can actually store things under there too. So keep that in mind, storage. The headboard that uh, you see in the photo is a headboard that I found outside on the curb that my neighbor was about to toss uh, to the garbage people. But I got him and another neighbor to bring it in my house and bring it up the stairs and put it in the bedroom. And then I just chalk painted it to match uh, the dresser. Personally, I don't like the look of a bed that doesn't have a headboard. I think that just looks very strange and weird. And like, okay, you lay down and you, in your head, is gonna like at some point it's gonna touch the wall or bump into the wall or if you're sitting up in bed you're leaning against the wall and making the wall dirty like I've, I've never understood beds without headboards I, I don't know I just don't like it I think it's weird so I would humbly suggest to you you know step it up a notch don't just throw a couple of mattresses in there on the floor or on just a plain old bed frame and there's nothing between your guest and the wall put a put a headboard on there or something all of this happened in that the bigger room I'll probably just put pictures of the uh, of the of the uh, queen bedroom and maybe not too many of the sofa bedroom except just to show you what the sofa bedroom looks like most of the things that I had to really put together were in the queen bedroom so after I got a headboard, a bed frame, and the mattress, that's basically all you really need in the room. Uh, on the uh, dresser, I put a television. I had a mini fridge and a microwave in my room. So technically, I didn't pay anything. The refrigerator and the microwave were years old. I had them in my room. Just know that when you start this little journey of trying Airbnb, you're going to have to invest some money 
in something. You're not you're probably not gonna be able to just toss somebody in that room and and have it be good. You're gonna have to buy pillows if you don't have enough. You're gonna have to buy decorative pillows, like either sham pillows to put the sham covers on to make the bed look a little fluffier and nice. You're gonna have to buy mm, side tables. I had to buy some side tables. I did that, but I got mine off of Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is definitely your friend when you're starting uh, to do things like this because some of the furniture is free or darn near free. So really utilize that. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Now my brother gets on me about the TV that I have in that queen size room because it is a box TV. It is, I've had that TV since college and I think the TV is fine. It works for the Roku box. My brother clowns me because he says it's too old. You need to have a flat screen in there. Get a flat screen TV. And so I'm like, okay, I will eventually, I will get a flat screen TV to go into that room. But in the meantime, that box TV is fine. I haven't heard any complaints about it. The, you know, I'm out here in the, in like the sticks pretty much. So, people can go downstairs and watch like local TV, local channels downstairs in the, uh, in the living room, the common space, but upstairs, you can't really do that. But I told myself that I would, maybe this year for Black Friday, I'll try to see if I can get over there and get a, 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 a better TV, maybe even a bigger TV, because that room could hold a a larger screen television so we'll see what happens um so i just wanted to let you know about that i'm going to list everything that i'm talking about in the description box you're going to need sheets pillowcases decorative pillows um mattress cover please get a mattress cover and get a good one one that is like fabricy, not one that is like plastic where if you if the people who are sleeping on the bed move, you hear plastic crinkles all night, get a mattress cover that is protective of the mattress, but also has a fabric feel and not a plastic feel. Okay, that makes, I think that would make a difference. They're a lot more quiet and they only cost a few dollars more than some cheap plastic one that's gonna rip and tear. I will link that in the description box as well because I accidentally bought a cheap plastic one. I thought it was a fabric texture one and it wasn't. And the thing ripped as soon as I, I tried to put it on the mattress and I pulled it up and I went to go zip it and zip it ripped. So there you go. The ones that feel like fabric don't rip like that in my experience. Um. See, I can't really think of anything else at the moment, but um, I'll have probably another video to come pretty soon. I just wanted to make sure I got this video up here so that uh, you can use my links if you're thinking about buying anything uh, to furnish the room. And the things I'm listing are just basic basic room necessities and we'll talk about uh, other rules that Airbnb has that you are required to provide guests in uh, another video okay well I will talk to you guys later have a good day or good night and see you next time bye bye